Hello everyone, Atrum and John here, and welcome to us probably getting screwed in an Amaket draft. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going off of personal experience. This card, I think, is completely insane. It's pretty good. It reminds me of uh, Call of the Wild. Well, it's Call of the Wild that also draws you cards. Yeah, I think we take it. So, I think it's a solid pick for starters. Enigma Drake's pretty strong, too. You think so? I think the rare's better, but... Right, right. I've never played an Enigma Drake deck in this format. Hmm. Well, you'd play Wind Drake as a 2-2 two, two for 2 all the time, and it's usually a 2-4 for 3. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's better because you can cycle your instants and sorceries. So yeah. That makes sense. But we'll take uh, Mouth Feed here as our starting pickup. So Probably this card okay. crushes me every single time I play up against it. So I want to crush people with it. Yeah, I think that card is very, very good. Like, I've gotten crushed by this card so many times now. <laughs> that I'm just like, God damn it. Why don't I play this card? <laughs> what was the two-man enchantment from Stronghold that gave everything trample? Uh... I don't know. But this is that. I think I, I know what you're talking about. I've seen it before, but I don't know what it's called. Mm -hmm. So, green cartouche? Yeah. So Cards. This card is retarded. Yeah. If you, it's have, very if, if you haven't played this format yet, this card is retarded. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's like, yeah, it, it's very good. <laughs> it's fight on steroids. It's basically like bear punch, but an enchantment that gives your guy trample for the future. Yeah. If you remember the bear punch from a uh, good old Sarkin in um, cons, is it better than bear punch? Well, probably. Yeah, it's pretty good. It costs one more though, and bear punch did give plus two, plus two. They're very they're parallel effects. Yeah, they're parallel effects. Trample is a big game. Trample is a big game. Very much is, especially in this format where everything stalls. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't have flyers, it stalls, and if you, yeah, it just stalls pretty hard. What the hell does this do? Uh. Huh. I've never played with that card. I don't know if it's good. I don't either. You have to be super aggressive, I think. Yeah, you do. The true drop is pretty good i've played with that a bunch of times yeah this guy's pretty solid um flings sandworms off. okay sandworms fine flings fine actually it's better in this format apparently but i don't know on this card it seems doesn't seems seem like miss. yeah it doesn't seem like my style so of course we're gonna lose to it but. right well actually we might not because remember this isn't a regular draft. This is a league, which, by the way, I hate playing in draft leagues mm -hmm. because your draft basically is only you. It's almost as if you're playing arena in Hearthstone. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, actually. It's you playing arena in Hearthstone. Your draft does not affect your opponent's draft or does not affect your opponent's drafts at all. Right. I think this guy's fine, though. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What, wait, wait, wait. Pick six, second green cartouche? Weaver of Currents is also very strong, but... But... Take cartouche. Second green cartouche, pick six. It's a good sign. Yeah. What's your feelings on this guy? I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. I guess you do get into top decking wars a lot in Limited. Okay. Let's take it. Yeah, it's solid. It's better in... The red cartouche or desert or whatever. Right. Well, it was the question of do we start considering maybe whether or not red is our second color or not. But, I, think... I mean, we do have the red-green uncommon, which is insane. Yeah. So, there's that going for us. What's this do? It's pretty solid. Doesn't look bad. Okay. It's the weird red reach card. <laughs> right? I think, what, is this like... There's only like four or five total red reach cards, right? Yeah, and one of them is actual giant spider that's just been color shifted. Hmm. Is this? 
I th is this thing any good? It's playable. Is this is just better though, right? I'd rather play the lizard. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm researching uh in the gather on my other screen red reach cards. Oh, red reach. Yeah, only red reach cards. Uh, the what's way. the Rorikthar has reach, I guess. Only red reach oh. cards. So there are a total of nineteen mono red cards with reach in the entirety of Magic. Ooh. Or that say reach for some reason. Okay, so what do we have going on here? That's interesting. Not the worst. Cartouche is playable. Artifacts. Actually, Violet <laughs> Impact is playable too. Even though it's bad, it's still playable. It is playable. It's cycling. Is I think the... Oops. Okay. Well, I think yeah, this is probably effects. better. So. Yeah. Um. Is this thing just like fine? Or is I hate it just that card. Hard? Okay, it's horrible. Gotcha. It's not horrible. I just hate it. What about Hyena Pack? Yeah, I've played Hyena before. Okay. So looking at the cards with Reach, or that say they have Reach, I'm trying to. Oh. Reach is a is a sub part of the word treachery. <laughs> <laughs> so, gotta give me a second on that one. <laughs> yeah, I can only think of Needle Peak Spider. Uh, there's also a membrane, the red wall. Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. Reach, but not treach. Red. Oh, what's this card? Damage can't be prevented if a source you control would deal damage. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Insult to injury, people. Insult <laughs> to injury. All the uncommons are good too. Yeah. Uh, this. Yeah, this card's pretty good. This card's fairly good. That card's good, but not in our color. So. Magma spray too. <clears throat> All sure. Right. Stick the rare. So taking the rare, there's also magma spray, but huh? I like the rare better because we have the give everything trample guy. Right, right. And two cartouche with also trample. Right. How do you feel about the monument? When I saw this, so uh, I think yeah. this monument's fine. Um, it's not really affecting our other pieces, but plus two, plus two, and trample is pretty solid whenever you cast a creature spell, and since it doesn't have to be a green creature spell. Um. I think that card's very good. Yeah, I mean, it's a legendary artifact, so you only want one, really. When I looked at the ratings, like LSV's ratings, he said this card is terrible. I, I, oh. I've never actually played it before. I've had it in my sideboard before and not played it, so... Mm -hmm. I almost kind of wonder if we just want another two drop, though. Yeah, could take that. I think we actually do. I think our deck wants to be aggressive. Sorry for the monument, but I think we just want a two drop. What about this? Yep, definitely. Okay. Now that I'm looking over here real quick. So, one card with reach. Oh, man. Chaos Sphere. Oh, they uh, they talk about flying or reach, so you know that yeah. that you have to discount all of those cards. Um, so one card with reach, a Minotaur Sure Shot, which is the new one, so that's two. The color shifted, uh, well, the backwards version of Spider. Yeah. Um, so that's three. I think that's it. Uh, oh, Sky Skyraker yeah. Giant was a fourth. Weaver of Lightning is a fifth. There you go. Oh, yeah. Weaver of Lightning. That was a random card. Yeah. So, there you go. There are five total red magic cards with reach. For your daily knowledge boost, you now are smarter. Congrats. Yay. You have gained point zero one IQ points. <laughs> <laughs> error. Error. Too many IQ points gained. <laughs> 
Another one of these guys. Yeah, that or Cheetah, her evolving worlds. I, th- I like the two drops. Yeah. What's this thing do? It's, it's the weird. stupid... Plus three, yeah. plus three, and then just slowly dies after that? Yeah, it's a reprint of the alpha card. I forgot what it's called. Isn't that in a different color, though? Yeah, it's blue. Hmm. Do I think we take it, don't we? Or do we take yeah. red cartouche for a haste effect? Best card in the pack is Avian Initiate, I think. But... Yeah, but I don't know if we want to grab a third color here, do we? No, I'm... I don't know about Fervor. You think we'll play it? You could play it, I guess. It's plausible? This guy's good. Or yeah. there's a third green cartouche, which I would actually... Which actually gives me pause. I like the cartouche. The card's really I, dumb. Yeah, I think... This card's insane, but this card is just retarded. <laughs> so, on the insanity scale, retarded is above insane. So... Yeah. We're going to take that. It works especially well with the Hyena Packs. Yeah, it works well with Hyena Packs. Uh, this card's fine. Yeah, Pouncing Cheetah's pretty good, too. What about this guy? This guy's actually oh, pretty cute because he works on this, and then you get to make it into 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it's a fine card. But I don't think it's great. It's not great. I'd rather have um, Pouncing Cheetah over that guy, though, don't you think? Sure. I mean, a flash 3-2. It's not bad. Sure. Let's just take it. Do we take another reach guy? Probably. Sure. Why not, right? Because <clears throat> I feel like the yeah, the Kudu doesn't really do much, I think. Yeah. It's so-so, but that's about it. This guy is pretty decent. Kinda. Maybe. I never played with it. I've I've had one, uh, my opponent play one before, and it was just annoying because it's like you never know what you need to block or not. Mm-hmm. Um, never played it, never played against it. Could play another one of these. It's not bad. It's good for your yeah. exert creatures. Yeah, I think that card's pretty good. And it actually works really well with this, too. Yeah. Just cut the stupid one of these white cards, maybe. There's no point. Cutting yeah. cards oh, doesn't yeah. do anything. That's that's one of the reasons why I don't like this kind of format. Is because it's like, well, I should cut this. Oh wait, it does shit for me to cut things. <laughs> so you so this reinforces your good old thing that you're always trying to enforce on me of always take a fringe playable card over um anything that you could cut. Yeah. But I like to hate draft. Only on a, only when there's nothing really good for me. Like, if there's nothing that's like a five out of ten or above, I'll hate draft something usually. Mm-hmm. Whereas John, you're always willing to go all the way down to like a two out of ten. <laughs> yep, I've played twos before, man. What was the last experience you had playing a two out of ten? Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's not bad. Yeah, we won't. Play. Oh, Edifice of Authority is actually broken, dude. Is it? Target creature can't attack this turn. Put a Burt counter. Target creature can't attack, block, or activate its abilities. It's Icy Manipulator, but better. I'm not sure if it's better than. Hmm. I mean, it looks like it could be good. Is it good yeah, in it's... our deck? It's very good. Um, I don't know if cut is better. Or not. I mean, if we could play the ribbons part, it, this would be an insane card for us. But we can't play the ribbons part, so it's a good card for us. It, yeah, it's just it's, four damage. It's, which is perfectly fine, just a four, mm-hmm. removal spell at two. I'm going to take the cut. Okay. I think the card's just slightly better. For us, slightly, very, very slightly. Giant spider, I guess. What does a hippo do? 
Hippo, put, you put minus two minus two, one minus one counters on a creature you control. Whenever one or more counters are put on it, remove a minus one minus one from another creature you control. So it's a two three for three. Basically, in, in our this deck. in in our deck, yes, it's it is a two three for three. Okay, yeah. So spider. Yeah. In a different deck, it's a good card. In our deck, eh. <laughs> watchful night is pretty good. Yeah, I like this card. Especially with all our green cartouches. What's the plural of cartouche? Cartouche. cartouche. What? <laughs> <laughs> now we could take Neg Neg Vitalist, play the Painted Bluffs, and then have double black for ribbons. Boom. We could. Nope. It actually is slightly appealing. It's probably the pick, anyways. Right. Do we need another spider? I don't know. Probably not. Dear God, man. <laughs> for sure. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have enough creatures to go with all these cartouches? Yeah. Unfortunately, they're all like X twos. All right. So X ones. X ones, X twos. We have one hyena pack with uh, a pack and a giant spider. I guess these yeah. are two threes. So you know these aren't the worst. And then yeah. they can pump themselves later, which would be uh, which is awesome with trample. Watchful Naga is a 2-2. Two, two. That's a 3-2. So, yeah, basically you can only fight small creatures. Which is fine. Right, right. But it's interesting. <laughs> the set's full of all sorts of weird creature types. Naga Druid. Right. Just random hyena. Lizards. Minotaur Archers. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck is this thing? What? Speaking of it, what the fuck is something? Hmm. It's a cute card. Adorable. Right? But I think I want a Pathmaker and it's shit. Okay. Maybe. Or a Spidery Grasp for the board. Sure. Doesn't matter. Probably not. Not really. <laughs> hey, Cycling Land on Color. That's a card. There's also this giant cycling doohickey here for value, I suppose. Either of the cyclers, actually. Is I, th I think this might be better for us than the land. Uh, uh, one of the creatures might be better for us than the land, right? I don't know. We're going to have to make two cuts already. Right, but our creatures are also tiny. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we have no late game. Except seven for seven or this. better? Is a seven seven for seven better than a six six four for six? I don't know. I think I like this, which is good because right. I guess I ran out of time. So. Let's take the red black one. Sure. Helps with that our random ribbons splash. Yeah, random ribbons, uh, Nega Vitals, goofy stuff. <laughs> All right, get in the deck. <laughs> well, if we're splashing the ribbons effect, we kind of need it. I guess, but that card is really bad. Oh, don't get me wrong. Unknown Shores is a bad card. But, meh, it does allow for splashing ribbons. Effectively. And ribbons is fireball, minus two, because you have to pay one for painted bluffs. Right. And one for extra mana on fireball, but, eh. Yeah, but it's still basically just a you target opponent loses the game. Yeah. Generally speaking. I'll put this in our sideboard. If our, opponent, a good if our opponent has a lot of flyers. Put this in our sideboard. Sure. Or is this any good? I don't think so. Okay. I think this. the only real one is the green. The white one's actually pretty good. It produces yeah. a guy every time you cast a creature spell. Which yeah, that one's not bad. It's insane in the tokens deck, basically. Because it's like you you basically just never run out of guys to play. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the blue one does. Something stupid. Yeah, I think it's stuff can untap. Oh, yeah, it freezes down a guy whenever you cast something. Random shit for the board. Fog. Fog. That I actually like that card. Fog with cycling? Yeah. Isn't this like a reprint? 
The name sounds very much like a reprint. I don't know. Feels like there's been a fog recycling before. Not sure. No, it's not a reprint. Hmm. Now I'm looking again because I obviously have the gatherer on <laughs> alt tab basically. Uh random shit. Sure. All right, bunch of random shit. So, cycling and prevent. That should give me the words I need. Let's see. There was the white fog cycling angel song. Yeah, angel song. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, there's also lull from uh, Urza Saga. Yeah. Which is basically the exact same thing as Haze of Pollen, but for... Actually, it is... It's two. Oh, Cycling 2 instead of Cycling 3. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So we have to make four cuts. Well, the stupid one drops seem pretty bad. Both of them? Yeah, I think so. I think we can cut both of those fairly safely. One of Lizard or Cheetah? Um... I feel like Lizard has more upside than Cheetah. So, right. cut one of those. And... We have to cut one more card. Hmm. I have no clue. Hmm. It's not a cartouche because those things are just stupid. Yeah. I don't think it's any of these three cards. It's not that. Could be Giant Spider. I don't think so. Giant Spider is pretty good. Quite good. Might just be a lizard. It could be just one of these guys. Probably. Okay, we'll just cut one of those guys. Call it a day. Um, play one swamp? Like, seven, seven, one? Sure. Just gives us that extra shot at hitting. So we have one, two, three, four black sources for this. Yeah. Seems perfectly fine. All right. Well, we shall see you all in round one.